In this video, I'm going to show you how to introduce a keyboard, in this case, the Advance 49 from Akai with VIP inside of the MPC software. This is what I have so far. Really, uh, really simple stuff. Double stop will stop whatever sound I have on there. Um, what I'm going to do on the MPC is I'm going to go to a new track. And right now, you can see that selected this plugin option. So with plugin option, I get this little screen down below. I'll highlight it and then push my button and I'll see inside that I'll have the VIP option. Um, VIP comes with the Advance 49 and the 25 and 61 from Akai. Um, it also comes with the VX49 and the CTRL49 from M Audio. VX49 is from Alesis. Um, and really what it is, is it's an environment that acts as a librarian for all of my plugins inside of my system. What that means to me is I can go browser, and instead of searching my plugins based upon the plugin manufacturer, I can go up to the top using my arrow keys, and I can go and say, okay, I want to search based upon instrument. So to start, I want to do something on the keys. So I'm going to go keys, I have 873 patches with keys. So I'll go and highlight where it says instrument. I'll say, okay, timbre-wise, I want it to be dirty. Um, and style-wise, I want it to be classic. So now over here, this has been populated with a bunch of different sounds that match that criteria. So let's try this um, swirly hybrid patch just to see how that sounds. I dig that, it's a little bit quiet, so I'm gonna press multi. Inside of here, when I push multi, I then get volume control. If I press control, I can then take a look at all the parameters. So I'll turn up the volume, maybe I'll take the cutoff. Great, that's a really good starting point. So now I'm gonna go back to my browser I'm going to go on to my slot option, and if I just start turning the wheel, it will give me a place to put in compressors and EQs and reverbs and other types of effects. But if I hold down shift, then it will jump to the next available virtual instrument slot. So let's load another sound into there. Uh, we'll go amp DP, again shift, over, I'll say uh, fifth reso clav into that one, and shift over. We'll do just four. Um, but I do actually, I have eight different slots um, that I can put different plugins into. So now when I go to multi, you'll see that those first four are populated with the sounds I just picked. If I press my bank over button, then I can see the other four that are empty right now. I haven't loaded anything into there yet. Um, and then using what I showed you before, I can change how they sound and dig right into the plugin, which is super handy. I can also, I can do my unmute. Right? There's my mutes for it. Um, I also I have solo as well. So it's a really quick way to navigate through all my plugins. Let's lay something down with MPC. So now I'm going to press my overdub and play start. I'll get a one bar count in and I can lay down my track. Thank you. 